you normally would go to inventory from a dashboard. And then we can just start by looking at, uh, this is our CBD test company. And you'll see here where these three products are manufactured and then everything else here are what we purchase to go into a manufactured product. So the CBD oil, 10 milliliter, 20 milliliter, and 50 milliliter are all being um, produced from one case, one barrel that has 15,000 uh, milliliters of CBD oil, which goes into making the three products. We look at having the containers for each of the three products and also the labels that are used at um, in each product as well. And you can see here where these three products have a cost and the cost you see here is a result of the combined cost of each of the respective uh, input components that goes into making these products. And these costs will automatically uh, change and improve, or I should say, update when you buy new products from your suppliers. So if this cost goes up by 10%, 15%, 20%, whatever the case may be, these increases in cost or even a reduction in cost will flow through from the supplier invoice that you process, which will also break it down to the component level, the unit of measurement level, and that will then flow into the product uh, based on the costing of the product. So let's look at, for example, this 10 milliliter uh, product here that is um, being manufactured. So an important thing to decide first is, do you want to assemble a product or manufacture a product? And there are big differences in terms of how cost bucket treats um, an assembled product or manufactured product. Assembled products are pulled in terms of the components, those are pulled from cost bucket when the sale is being processed. So the components will always be reflected in, in the inventory and they're only deducted when the sale is being processed. Um, that's similar to, for example, you you know you go into somewhere that sells burgers and you you place an order for a burger and the the components of it the, the lettuce the tomatoes and and everything else um, are pulled at that point of sale so that's when the inventory is deducted so um, that's an important point to note uh, the inventory is being managed at the component level never at the CBD oil level so you'll never see how many CBD oils you have in the system if you're using an assembled uh, model what you see is how many components you have um, how many labels containers and the purchased oil that goes into it um, is what you'd see if it's a manufactured product then how the system functions is it will deduct the inventory um, when you're making it and it will then convert that inventory into a finished product which is then sitting in cost bucket uh, showing the cost of the product and the quantity of the product so the components will be deducted it's going to convert into a new product with a new pricing a new uh, quantity and then when the sale is processed on the POS system, this will then deduct uh, from the from the inventory at that point in time. So they both require the bill of material to be set up. Um, and the set of the bill of material is very similar for both methodology, uh, but the way how the software works and the way how it manages and track inventory um, is very different. So that's, the first decision you need to make, do you want to manufacture the product or do you want to assemble the product? With um, manufactured products, you do need to go to the system and tell the system how many of a product you made. 
So that, that would be a requirement. So if you said you did a manufacturing run uh, this week and you made a thousand of a product, you do need to go in the system and, and, and confirm that you made a thousand products and then it will deduct the components and convert them into the thousand uh, physical products that are for sale. Physical products, laptops, cars, um, anything you see that would normally be on a shelf waiting for sale. So um, now we've gone through that. The next important thing to note, going back here, looking at a, a purchased product. If you notice here, you can see that the cost per unit is calculated and you'll see that the, um, the unit of measurement is milliliter, but we purchase it as um, by the case in this example. And this is saying we have the CBD oil at 15,000 uh, milliliter per barrel. Uh, they purchase it as a case, but the inventory is being managed as the milliliter and each case has 15,000 milliliter in there. The purchase cost is $300 per case, and we break it down to show that the cost per unit is two cents. Very important from a costing perspective because this two cents is then gonna factor into making the product. So if you say you're making the 10 milliliter CBD oil product, it will then take 10 milliliters of the 15,000 at two cents per milliliter. So very important to get this section correct in terms of how you buy it, how you store it and consume it, the quantity in the batch, and what's very important is this cost per unit. Next, we will review the unit of measurement. And this is important to check before you start the bill of material process. And we've already preloaded it with a lot of um, different conversion tables available. So let's say you are looking to do some conversions based on pound. You just want to make sure that you know these are available before you start to, to try and make the product so you can see then the different um conversions that are already there and you can also um, add a new one or edit one if you need to so double check this before starting the process next you go to make or assemble and we're just going to review one of the products that we've already set up, but to make one for yourself, you click on add bill of material and bill of material is the process of um, creating um, a costing for a product. So let's click here and edit. And here you'll see where this CBD oil 10 milliliter is being made from the CBD oil 15,000 per barrel. It has a container of the 10 milliliter, the label for 10 milliliter, the labor and the overhead. And if you click on advanced, it will show you that the unit of measurement that's being used is per hour for the labor and overhead because we are allocating that time as well to the product costing and showing you here that it's each and it's the milliliter. So, the container usually you know it's be bought as as individual containers you may buy a case of a label and a case could probably have um, a thousand labels in a case and then you'll have your labor hour and your overhead hour which is basically a calculation of you know how how much time does it take to create your batch and what's the cost per hour of that time and in this case, we're saying it's a batch. So you're looking at what is your yield here and you need to input to say if it's one or if it's 10 or you know, if it's a hundred, whatever it is. You notice the cost per unit is changing when you change the yield, right? So the yield is 
once you put in you're looking at how many what's the usage what's the quantity you you, you used to make um the different um this production run for example how much went into the process what was the result of it how many did you get out of the process so in this case we're saying this is how much we put into this process we got 1500 cbd oil 10 milliliter out of it and this is saying this is the cost of making this cbd oil including labor including overhead including the label container and the cbd oil this is um because this product is manufactured it's going to convert those products again by deducting all of these uh in terms of units it's going to deduct all of these um component level from the inventory for the labor and overhead there's no um deduction in terms of inventory but there is a there's still a cost that applies and the accounting side of it will also be done automatically by a cost bucket so <clears throat> to process um a bill of material what you do is you come here and you search you type in to search for the product you choose the location where the inventory is being pulled from and then in here you'll type in what and store but if you type here you see where you can input uh, from a, whatever it is that you're trying to take the information from and then it will show you here the unit of measurement of this product and you can see here in the ml it show you the purchase cost which is here and also here and then here you say what the methodology is that you're using in terms of consuming the product in comparison to how the product was purchased you put in how much did you use you click add it adds it to the cart once you finish you click update when you finish the whole process you click update and then you can return to the bill of material listing um, other key things to look at uh, you can do you can you can actually um, make a product from an existing product as well so this cbd oil 10 milliliter could have been consumed from another made product as well so it's possible to make a product and then have that made product be um, a component into another made product also.